oxygen uh, depleted zones uh, are regions of the water that have a minimum in oxygen. And there's a lot of interest in these oxygen minimum zones right now because they appear to be losing some oxygen. They appear to be getting bigger with time from the historical measurements that are being accumulated. And so what does that really mean for how the oceans function and, and what does that mean for uh, the chemistry of the oceans? This is where we're from. Uh, the oceans sus help sustain life here on Earth. Uh, the phytoplankton in the oceans provide over 50% of the oxygen that we breathe. Um, there's four special places in the ocean where the oxygen concentration gets really, really low. On this cruise, we're going to the biggest one of those regions, and it's called the Eastern Tropical North Pacific. We're going to be right on the edge of the low oxygen region, so we'll find out what microbes are doing right along that edge. So why should we care about oxygen minimum zones? Just like if you're on a spaceship and you have a life support system, we are on a planet that has a life support system and, and we don't really understand how well it works yet and how it may change. And really, if we're thinking forward a few centuries in time, um, we need to be able to, to understand how our global human society, which is very large and is clearly impacting the chemistry of the planet in many ways, um, how it is doing so. and then how can we pull back on unintended consequences.